Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. My name is Dan and this is Old Sarge Collects. This is going to be another Saturday Land Yap episode. Land Yap is a French term we use down here in Louisiana, which means something extra. And my intent for these um, episodes is to show you something uh, that you don't normally see on YouTube, something that's not as common as what you typically see uh, with all the other content for cards out there. And uh, so the, it basically it's a rummage of, of random cards from my collection. And then I'm going to follow up with some uh, recent pickups that I had. So let's go ahead and start off. Now, the first card that I'm going to share with you is this local um, issue of Tony Gwynn from 1984 when he won the National League batting champion. Um, so really cool card. What I like about it is that <clears throat> that life-size bat that he's got there almost as tall as he is, and on the back of the card, it says that he's 5'11", which means that that bat has got to be at least 5'9". That's a really big bat. So that's the first card for Lanyap, and then these next two cards are also local issue cards, or regional issues, however you want to say that. Uh, this one is an Isley's card. It's a circular disc. And it's of Nolan Ryan while he was on the California Angels. Again, these are from 1976. Um, so this next one is of Hank Aaron. This would have been his last year in the major leagues. So, again, Isley's. All right, and so for the next card, uh, I'm going to share with you a more common card. But this is a 1959 Topps Al K-Line in a SGC 4.5. I had this graded a while back, never shared it on the on the um, channel, but this is a gray back and these, uh, this set came with gray and white back um, cards. So uh, this is a nice um, centered version of the card. It's got uh, almost even borders all the way around. So I really enjoy this card. All right, and so the next <clears throat> card is from 1986. It's from the Sport Flicks rookies set. And uh, this is a Bo Jackson. Now, the great thing about this set, in my opinion, is it's got all the major rookies from 1986 that would have been in the Topps traded set. So it's got Jose Canseco, it's got Will Clark, um, it's got Barry Bonds and Bo Jackson here. And um, so this shows three different images. It's got a portrait image and two batting poses. Um, so the first one, I don't know if you can see the, the change in images, but... There he is batting, and then you've got another one here uh, where he's batting. So, and then this is what the backs look like. All right, and so that's the 1986 Sport Flicks. And then the next, uh, the next card is going to be a 1974 Kellogg's 3D card of Reggie Jackson in a PSA Mint 9. And so, lovely card, a great image, and I love the 3D effects on these cards. Um, these cards are difficult to uh, keep from cracking. They, they crack rather easily. So, there's the 1974 Kellogg's Reggie Jackson. The next card is from 1958, and this card is the Hires Root Beer Pee Wee Reese. Um, in a PSA 5 and this card on the slab it's got some it's got some tape or something like that on there I don't know this is how it came when I got it um, I do think I'm gonna get it re-slabbed at some point because you can see the bag in there that PSA used so on the back of it there's an advertisement <clears throat> for Hires Root Beer and I really like this because I love um, old soda ads and, and um, food and beverage issues. So really enjoy that. I like that, uh, the bottle cap up there in the top right corner, and then you've got the, the bottle down here. So really cool, uh, really cool set here. And in this set, you've got, you know, um, Hank Aaron, you've also got Willie Mays among others. So, <clears throat> all right. And so the next card is going to be Let's switch it over to tobacco, and I'm going to show you a 1911 Royal Bengals uh, Heroes of History George Washington card. And this is an absolute beautiful card. Um, so this is from the T68 set, 
And then on the back, <clears throat> it's got a write-up of George Washington. And this is from the Miners Extra Smoking Tobacco or Royal Bengals Little Cigars. Um, and so, again, lovely set. A lot of different uh, great characters in this set. But my favorite happens to be George Washington. So, All right. And the next card is going to be of a 1975 SSPC Pete Rose and an SGC-9. Uh, this is a, a great set, and it's got a lot of good key rookies from the 1975 set. So you can have additional rookie cards of Robin Yunt and George Brett. You even have a, a Dennis Eckersley in this set, and his um, rookie card didn't come out until 1976. So you have all the regular rookies from 1975 and Dennis Eckersley in this set. So great alternatives if you don't want to pay those tops prices for those rookie cards. <clears throat> and then uh, speaking of rookie cards, you've got a 1993 Donruss uh, Mike Piazza rated rookie in an SGC 10. Beautiful image. I was a pretty big fan of Mike Piazza when I was younger, um, as I was a fan of the Dodgers because my uh, Uncle Mike was on the Dodgers. So really, really enjoyed. That was one of my childhood favorite teams was the Dodgers. So next card uh, is going to, we'll do another tobacco card. And this is the 1909 to 1913 Recruit Little Cigars T81 set. So this set has a bunch of different military figures in it. <clears throat> it's got from different countries, in fact. Um, and this is also a, a die cut series. So you can fold over the top of the, of the card and then you've got the die cut uh, figure of the soldier there. And this is of a field artilleryman and from the US Army. And then like I was saying, you've got different countries. So you've got like England and Germany and France, uh, just a variety of different countries that they show. <clears throat> now, one thing on the back that I really like is it gives a it gives a write up of what a field uh, field artillery officer does, and also how much they would have been paid back at this time uh, back in 1909. So, just kind of a, a neat little piece of history here. And for any military buffs out there like I am, uh, this is this is a perfect card to have in your collection. So, all right, next card is going to be of um, a 1954 Bowman Bob Feller in an SGC-4. <clears throat> it's a lovely card of him sitting in the dugout. You've got that old school water fountain right there. Um, here's the back of the card, card number 132. All right. And then let's see here. Then the next card is going to be another tobacco card. This is from the uh, postage set from Duke and Sons. And this is uh, the card Letters from the Front, or Letters for the Front. And that's in reference to, uh, you know, soldiers on the front lines. Uh, and this is a mail carrier from uh, uh, on horseback delivering mail to the front, uh, to the front. So here's the back of the back of the card. And then the last card for the, the rummage is this card. It's from Allen and Ginter, and this is of the President's House, or, or basically the White House. Uh, this set's from 1888, and uh, this set has a lot of um, historic buildings, uh, government buildings in Washington, D.C., but it also has various courthouses for each state. So there's a Texas uh, courthouse, or um, you know, Texas courthouse, and then there's a uh, Louisiana one. So, but this is of the White House. So, and then here's the back of these cards. Okay, so that wraps up my rummage, and so now I'm going to share with you cards that I picked up um, this last week, and so I'm going to start off with. A very special card that I found for my Mike Morgan collection. 
and uh, my Uncle Mike collection. And this is of him in 1984 when he was on the Blue Jays. And what I really like about this is it's an image of him with a mustache. And I've never, ever seen him with a mustache. So um, really cool image. And um, really like this. So like I said, this is a <clears throat> this is a postcard. I will more than likely send this off for grading. So, all right, so that's that. And then I've got <clears throat> a difficult to grade 1985 Donruss box bottom of Dwight Gooden. And I absolutely love this image on the card of him throwing the ball. And in the background, you see the entire field. Um, this is in an SGC six. And then here's the back. So, all right, so that's that. And let's go ahead and put that one up front. I really like that card. All right, the next card that I got is gonna go towards my Diamond Star set. And this is of Luke Appling. And this is card number 95 from 1936, <clears throat> and it's a 3.5. And then the next card that I got, and uh, I know Adam from Vintage Sanctuary is going to be jealous of this. This is a Topps Double Headers uh, from 1955. This is of Ed Lopat and Harvey Haddix, and this is in an SGC6. Uh, here you have Ed Lopat, and uh, he's... You know, this is a night game. Um, you see, you've got the <clears throat> you've got the the lights in the background going. Really like the image. You've got uh, Harvey Haddix in the, on the back here. So, and then <clears throat> a couple of other cards here. Um, some newer cards. Let's take a look at um, 2023 tops star clusters. I've got this one of Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. Really like that card. And I've got another one here of some Astros, Jose Altuve, uh, Jordan Alvarez, and uh, Alex Bregman. Speaking of Alex Bregman, you've got a 2023 Sepia refractor of Alex Bregman. And then uh, to wrap up the 2023 new cards, I've got a T206 <clears throat> Jar Jar Binks. Really love that image. He was an interesting character on the so, on the show. Then I've got a 1950s, and I'm not sure the exact year, Dixie Lid <coughs> of uh, John Wayne. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the here's the back of it. Then I've got a 1929 uh, Men of America booklet on Judge Kinsaw Mountain Landis. And um, I've actually seen uh, someone else show this where it was graded from SGC. So I'm going to send this in for grading. And this would have been booklet or bulletin number 49. So we'll see how that looks in an SGC slab. And then my last card, my last pickup of the week <clears throat> is a T210 uh, red border. Um, this is a Old Mill cigarettes. And this is of the player Brooks from Richmond, Virginia. So, all right, well, that's everything that I had for you this week for my Land Yap episode. Um, we are hitting the 14 minute mark, so it's time for me to go. But um, I hope you all enjoyed the, the variety of cards you see here. And um, uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. I do appreciate you subscribing and, and watching. Um, and on that, I hope you all hunt, keep hunting the good stuff and I will talk to you all next week. Bye.